Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Commander review video for Magic the Gathering. We're cruising right along through the Mirage set, and today we're talking about Sidar Jabari, uh, who is a legendary human knight that costs three generic mana and one white mana. It's a 2-2, two -two, and it has this awesome ability called Flanking. Now, I love banding. I love banding. Banding is one of my most favorite mechanics when I built my banding deck um, that was white-blue. I'd have to say one of my first favorite mechanics when I started playing this game, period, uh, back in like the early 2000s or like early 2010s, I don't, or late 2000s, early 2010s, I don't remember exactly when I started playing. Off the top of my head, I'd have to like do the math. Um, but, one of my favorite mechanics from some of those older cards uh, was flanking. I thought it was so cool because you're on horseback and you're going to flank and outmaneuver your opponent's creatures. I thought that concept was so cool. So flanking is this really cool ability. And it says it pretty clearly on the card. I'm going to read the oracle text here for the present day just in case there's any uh, word changes. Whenever a creature without flanking blocks this creature, the blocking creature gets negative one, negative one until end of turn. Now it is important to note that flanking does stack. So if a creature has multiple instances of flanking, then a creature without flanking will get negative one, negative one for each instance of flanking. So they could get negative two, negative two if a creature has flanking, flanking, so on and so forth. Um, secondly, J uh, Sadar has, whenever Sadar Jabari attacks, tap target creature defending player controls. No card rulings for Sadar, very straightforward, just the flanking and the tap attack trigger. The card I chose to synergize with Sadar is Knight Exemplar. Um, one of the popular archetypes on EDH Rec is like a flanking knight tribal, so we're going to talk about that in just a second, but Knight Exemplar gives Sadar, as well as your other knights, indestructible. That's the most important part of that card right there. However, the deck that I have Sadar Jabari in is not a knight tribal. Someday I will build it, I promise I will build this. But there's not enough knights for me right now. There's not enough knight commanders in mono white. I could be completely wrong. Maybe there is. But I want to wait just a little bit before I get into that. Because that is going to be a whole other deck idea. Um, we will talk about it in this video though. Um, so for now, Sidar Jabari is in an Aura deck. I'm going to take advantage of the tap ability. I'm going to take advantage of the flanking ability in case Sidar gets blocked. I'm going to soup Sidar Jabari up with tons of enchantments, tons of auras, and white is very good at that. You could do an uh, enchantment build. You can do an equipment build. You can do just a pure Voltron build and do both enchantments and artifacts. Um, you can do a lot with mono white in those archetypes. Very powerful. However, when the day comes, and it will, I will build a flanking knight tribal with Sadar Jabari, and it's going to have the flanking be the key thing, just like banding is for my banding deck. Um, I'm going to get a lot of knights, they're going to have flanking, so that way my opponents are going to be discouraged from blocking, especially with their smaller creatures. And then white has great tribal synergies for uh, four knights, so we're going to give them double strike, we're going to give them trample, we're going to give them indestructible, all those shenanigans, it's going to be mwah, 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 beautiful. And lastly, you could build around a Jab uh, Siddhar Jabari's second ability where white has a lot of these when this creature attacks tap an opponent's creature and we got a little bit just a little bit of support in like a tap matters uh, package in the throne of Eldraine set 
So Solitary Sanctuary cares about tapping creatures your opponents control to get benefits from that. Um, maybe we'll get more of that support in future sets, but for right now we just barely got a little bit of support in Throne of Eldraine, so it's going to be a little bit longer before we get more cards. Um, however, we can still double up on attack triggers, on uh, damage triggers, so Goring Ceratops will give all of our creatures double strike. Noble Purpose will take advantage of that double strike by gaining life from the first strike damage and then gaining more life from the double strike damage. Um, and we're going to fill the deck with tons of mono white creatures that say when this creature attacks, tap target creature and opponent controls. So that way your creatures are never blocked and you can always go for full max damage against your opponents. Um, Sadar Jabari. Nothing will block you. If you go Voltron build, you're going to make it so it can not be blocked. It's going to have evasion. It's going to have protection. It's going to have some way of getting around. If you're going to do knights, especially with flanking, your creatures are not going to want to block creatures with flanking because those creatures are going to get weak. If they're small enough, they're going to get destroyed just from the flanking triggers. So no one's going to want to block flanking. You can do this crazy tap down your opponent's board with mono white tap creatures when they attack. So no one's going to block you this way. You can have a really fun mono white aggro deck with Sadar Jabari. However, everyone will attack you. <laughs> you can have enchantments in there um, that give your creatures vigilance. Very popular in white, very strong in white to give your creatures vigilance. So you can defend as well. But you are going to be playing an aggressive commander that wants to fight. So be prepared to fight. Um, but setting that aside, Sadar Jabari, super cool. I cannot wait to build a flanking knight tribal commander deck. Let me know if you guys have built one or if you know anyone who's built one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know also if there's anything I missed with Sadar Jabari. Any cool synergies like with the attack triggers and stuff like that. Um, if you want to see more of the Magic the Gathering content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified when more videos come out. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!